I'm sure everyone in their lifetime at one point or another has wondered themselves why their plans and co-creations have often gone astray or turned out vastly different than they had projected or hoped and were at a loss to understand why. People wrongly assume that there is one path to co-creation or manifestation and that is one of the reasons why so few people have had any notable success with mass market books like The Secret or when they do manifest something in the physical, in most cases, it is all lost within a few years. Seems kind of strange, right? There are, in fact, two different paths on your journey of co-creation. The path of co-creation with Christ consciousness, or the path that most people take, the path of co-creation with the ego. And these are vastly different paths with vastly different outcomes, and not to mention the power. When you choose to co-create with Christ Consciousness, you are creating for the best and highest good of not only yourself, but for that of humanity as a whole. When you choose to co-create with your ego, you are striving to create that which your ego seeks to satisfy your five senses, and that which you perceive as your highest good in the world of Caesar. To be successful in your manifestations, you must choose this day whom you wish to express, and you will note here that I did not say serve. Christ consciousness is an expression of God, not a service to God, and the difference there is as vast as day and night. If you realize that you are truly one with God, and that you are an expression of divinity, then your life is not only an expression, but is also serving the greater good of humanity and your brothers and sisters. Now, on the other hand, if you believe that you are only here to serve God, and you are constantly bowed down in supplication, then you are only fulfilling one half of your destiny, and you have not realized that you have left the most powerful aspect of yourself on the table. Ego tries to create abundance from a sense of lack. It looks around, does not see what it desires, and tries to create from nothing, or by coveting something that already exists. The Christ Consciousness knows that there is no lack. That creation is complete and anything and everything the child of God desires is already available to him as his birthright. He is not creating abundance. He is for the first time simply recognizing the abundance that was there the entire time. Ego struggles with his co-creation because they are not for his greatest good. And even when he gains that which he seeks, it is a constant battle to keep it. Christ Consciousness knows no struggle, for he knows that his manifestation will not only serve him for his highest and greatest good, but for his brother as well. You must choose not only this day whom you will express, but also choose which path you will follow, the path of light or the path of shadow. There are immutable universal laws that must be adhered to. The Creator's greatest wish is to see all facets of their beingness return to self-mastery so that you can enjoy all the love, peace, joy, and abundance that is inherent in being a son of God. And that last sentence just gave you the secret to success in the process of evolution. And I shall repeat it. The Creator's greatest wish is to see all facets of their beingness return to self-mastery. Did you catch that? To see all the facets of their beingness return to self-mastery. So why is that so exciting? Because you have done this all before. You are returning to a state. You are not trying to achieve something that you have never experienced before. And that is why you cannot fail. Because it is who you are now. You are a child that is temporarily lost in the mall of life. Wandering around looking for their mother and finally when she sees you through a throng of people. Runs to you and embraces you with a love only a mother can give. Then you truly know you are home. You have been a self-master before in countless lives on countless worlds and now... Through the process of remembrance, you are returning to that state once again. And you have the power of legions behind you. Know that you are loved. Know that you are magnificent. 
Know that you are a child of creation and know that you will never fail. So be it.